Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a product review on this bad boy. I just literally got this this morning and uh, haven't opened it yet. I'm opening it for you guys. It's the Pioneer DJM S11. Man, been waiting for this bad boy, man. And uh, can't wait to show you guys and open it for you guys. It's supposed to be an amazing mixer, the most sought out mixer right now. Uh, I was lucky to get one. You can't get it till the end of the month. We're in Canada, so maybe you guys in the States have it already, but here in Canada, you can't get these yet. Um, this is the last one I got one from, from my hookup. So oh, yes, Daddy. We'll check it out. Hopefully you guys like it. I'm gonna do an unboxing right now. Yeah! All right. Got my scissor here. This is exciting stuff, man. There you go, clean. Oh man, nice and heavy. Great build, look at that. Okay, a first look. Okay guys, so here's a closer look at the S11. Here's the top section. Um, as you can see, the build quality is amazing. Um, the pads are nice and big, and um, the symmetry is incredible with um, the buttons just being really, really big and that 4.3 inch touch screen just popping out at you. Here's the front section with those rubber bumpers at the ends to protect the knobs. Um, on the far right, you have the headphone jack, the quarter inch, one eighth inch jack. In the middle, you have the crossfader section. You can adjust the feeling of the crossfader, uh, the curve as well, as well as the curve for the channel one and channel two, and you can reverse hamster it as well. Uh, far left, you have the microphone section with the on and off echo uh, level, and there's also an aux level. The back of the system, uh, there's an on and off button, uh, the power where the IEC cable plugs in, channel 2, uh, master RCAs, master XLRs, you also have a USB hub for RAIN 12s or external mixers, it's powered by 5 volts, there's a signal ground, booth, channel 1, uh, USB, A and B so you can switch DJs, your mic inputs and an auxiliary. Yo guys, so this is the S11 in all its glory. Love scratching on this thing, man. As you heard, I had the smooth echo on and it just adds a little bit of oomph to your scratching or just your mixes, right? It's, it's actually post and if you if you're playing, playing a song and turn it off, it'll actually echo it out for you. So it'll make your mixes more tighter, it can make your scratches tighter. So it's pretty cool, man. So the smooth echo, right here, this, this button right here. Um, the faders are so, so good, man. They're, they're an upgrade for sure from the S9. Uh, I heard the S9, like the faders like break a lot and stuff. Well, these ones, they made it more sturdy and uh, all three of them are the same fader. So they're awesome, awesome faders, man. Yeah. Um, I heard also this area right here, um, it won't chip. So this is like chip, anti-chip scratch resistant as well. This material, is, it's metal. Pretty much oh, right yes, so it's daddy. not gonna chip or scratch so it's something that's gonna last and that's durable the construction is pretty much plastic 
just like the S9, but it's quality plastic. Like the paddles are exactly the same. The actual pads are bigger than the S9, so uh, you can't miss them. So that's a plus, right? The EQs, the channel two, channel one are, are streamlined now. I know the S9, they have them in this section, and uh, but they're kind of in like a couple of rows. Here, they're all streamlined now, so it's, everything looks cleaner. Um, yeah, all the buttons are bigger. They're all plastic, but a rubberized kind of plastic sort of thing. Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's like two or three inches bigger than the S9. First thing we notice on this machine is a touch screen, right? Just like the Rain 72, it's, um, it's, it is a touch screen, intuitive touch screen, and there's so much functions on this, man. I, I haven't had a chance to. You can browse your library, you can you can go to the effects, you, have, you can save your all your effects and your, your software effects, beat effects in different banks here. Um, you can change the, the echo on the mic, uh, you can, there's MIDI, you can control all the MIDI functions on, on here. There's touch effects, which is cool. So when you actually play a song, it's like a combo effects, depending on where you put your finger, um, it'll, it'll trigger what effects you have there. Um, the, the standard is roll and pitch. Uh, you can preset it to echo and filter or you can actually choose your own effects as well if you if you don't like these ones but uh, yeah they're pretty cool man you can have a lot of fun with this stuff man I can just imagine what DJs can do with with this stuff there's a uh, deck 3 and deck 4 so if you don't know already um, this is the first four deck DVS mixer so you can actually control um, decks three and four internally on the screen. You can play, cue everything, mute, browse, you can, the levels, you can um, raise a volume. You can also do it on your computer, on your laptop as well. But um, yeah, you can do it here, deck four as well. You can, you can browse through, load, load deck four, and then yeah, it's, it's, it's on there. You can play it from there. Uh, yeah, there's so much that you can do on this thing. With this mixer, you can move songs um, from deck uh, one to deck four, or deck two to deck three. If you want to mix something else and free up one of these decks, you can switch them to one of the, the internal decks, the three and four. For example, if I'm playing a song here, to go change the the deck, let's see, so this would move, basically, yeah, there you go, so it's right there, the song went from the second deck to the third deck, right, so it frees up this deck again so it's open and you can load in another song or load in an acapella or, or an instrumental and just build on top of that and then you can do it to the other side you can do so much it's up to your creativity to see what they can come up with with this stuff so it's pretty cool that being said there's also a mode where you can lock tracks on one side let's see this is deck one and three you can actually lock um, those two tracks together like say if you're doing a mashup of songs you can actually put them together uh, for example three okay it's ready to go let's go back okay right there mash them up when you hit dual deck you'll actually Okay, that wasn't a good mix, but it actually plays both tracks together and it, you can actually control them together, lock them together so they'll be played together and they also are both controlled by the EQs on the same side, right? 
is filtered. Mids, highs, all control both both of the tracks. So that's pretty cool. That's that's something something new. And you can also do that to the other side too. So two and four, you can also put uh, songs and then you can actually scratch four songs at the same time. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but you can. You can now. So it's it's all of the creativity of the DJs to <laughs> to figure out what to do, what you can do with this. You can do so much, but uh, yeah, it's awesome. Crazy, crazy, crazy engineering. There's 21 new effects on this. So I think there's like seven more than the S9 and uh, um, they're all customizable. Last but not least, exclusively for Serato, there's that scratch back function, which you can actually save your scratches in a, in a certain section. Yeah, you can save your uh, scratches and you can bring them up whenever you want and scratch and then go back into your normal routine, right? So it's pretty cool. But that's pretty much what I've been working with. Uh, this, is, this has been a wicked machine and um, an upgrade for sure. So the Pioneer DJM S11, uh, yeah, cop it. Best mixer on the market right now. All right, I hope you guys like that product review of the new Pioneer DJM S11. I'm one of the first ones to have it here in Canada, so I'm, I'm happy to have shown you the first look unboxing and uh, yeah, just playing around with it, showing you um, some of the features it has. It, it's really an amazing machine and um, so glad I have it. And uh, it's gonna up my, my DJ game um, whenever we get to gigs, if we get to gigs. Uh, if you guys like that video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And um, see you guys in the next video. What? <laughs> All right. DJ Nice signing off.